If you for some reason hate platformer mode, you should watch this video because I used to hate platformer mode myself when it first got announced and I completely changed my mind and I want to try my best to provide all of the ideas that made me change my mind and perhaps make these people also change their minds because platformer is probably going to be the biggest feature in 2.2 and seeing that uh, how close it is and how some people still don't like platformer mode they are probably going to be missing out on a huge part in the community and overall in the update that we have been waiting for for so long platformer mode alone i think took probably like around six not six years probably like four to five years of development throughout these seven years because it's it's not an easy game mode to develop i mean you could develop one yourself but it's going to be very broken and in order to make it perfect it has to take time and we have seen that in the 2022 gdps leak like the 2.2 gdps the physics were very very broken and a, a, a game like geometry dash that has millions of players cannot just have a broken game mode like that it has to be perfect basically there has to be zero issues so it does completely make sense why it took Rupt up that long. And I think we should give this game mode a lot of credibility. And it's because of the points that I'm going to mention in today's video. So if you, if you for some reason hate platform mode, this video is perfect for you. However, if you already like platform mode, there may be something that I will mention that you have not picked out on or you just didn't know. So make sure to stick until the end if you really want to. So let's firstly, I would say, let's firstly take take a look at why people even hate platform mode in the, in the first place. I I think I can take a look at my own perspective and see what I thought back when this video was announced. And perhaps this is also the issue that many people have. And the first thing is that Geometry Dash is not a game where you go left and right. Geometry Dash is a game that's basically just action. There is no stop. You don't stop anywhere, it's, it's just every time the player is moving forward, no matter what, you are always moving forward. And this was a unique thing about Geometry Dash. This was basically like the most unique thing about the game, that you are oh, there's always action. You gotta click as fast as you can and react as fast as you can because it doesn't stop no matter what you do. However, platformer mode completely changes that and you can stop now. So there can't, there can't be like very dramatic parts. However, if people wanted to, they can create that. You can see, for example, like Mario or stuff like that, where there's a tower and then the lava is rising from down there. Then that's basically like, like the usual Geometry Dash that we know that has like a lot of motions and you got to react to really fast and stuff like that. So I think uh, the, the uniqueness of Geometry Dash, that one where you basically just go straight forward and never stop, is still going to be able to be replicated in platform mode if people really wanted to. And another thing in platform mode that's different than normal Geometry Dash is that basically you can move to the left and to the right. This is not doable in Geometry Dash 2.1. In 2.2 you can obviously go back and forth, but the difference between these two game modes is that basically in normal mode you are just going forward. There is You have no control over your momentum. You can't stop. That's it. But in platform mode you can move left and right. And I think there is huge potential for that now you may say well why because like mario 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 already does that and there are a lot of games that are just like platform mode geometry dash 2.2 however i'm gonna tell you why it's so unique to have that in geometry dash itself and it all ties back to the geometry dash editor itself the geometry dash editor is absolutely fascinating i think this is by far the best game edit like level editors in any game that i have ever seen and the one and only reason for that is because there are simply no limits. It's absolutely ridiculous how much can be done in this editor. Now, you may have seen a lot of, you have probably have seen a lot of examples on how people basically push the limits of everything that's possible, which is absolutely mind-blowing to see because nobody has ever expected something like that. But then all of a sudden it comes and shocks everyone in the community. And this can be also chained back to the triggers for example like I've, I've, I've made a tweet about it last like a few months ago or something where i mentioned that if there is an animation in a software or anywhere pretty much every, anywhere if you have an animation the only thing that happens is some things move some things rotate and some things scale and if you think about it the move trigger we got in 2.0 Oh, and this one, the rotate trigger we got in 2.1, and in 2.2 we're gonna get the scale trigger. 
So basically we can do an entire animation with it. So this is basically, we have broken the limits of how far we can take things because right now we can only move and rotate, but in 2.2, we're gonna basically have all of the important properties that are changed in an animation. And other than that, I think that the whole editor itself is just so ridiculously flexible. Like I've seen games that basically make their levels inside the game engines and don't have like a specific game editor basically. But in 2.2, you can basically, I can take a small example. I can perhaps maybe make like a small structure like this one. And I can, for example, move it left and right. You see, now it's moving left and then right. Now in other games like Mario, for example, all you would have is basically this as a preset object like this. And this would be like an object. You could place it and then you could change the properties of the speed, of the length and stuff like that. But in 2.2, you can make the objects as you want. You can change the speed of going to the right. It can also be independent from the speed where it's going to the left. You can change the easing of it. You can make it move left, right, down, up. You can basically make the whole track. And this is just a small example on how these triggers function because there are so many triggers. And already in 2.1, there's so much that can be done, but 2.2 is, is not a... People, people really need to stop calling it a game or an update. I really, I really think they should stop because it's a game engine. You, there are a hundred new triggers. You can do anything with them, pretty much anything. Like a hundred new triggers. It's unbelievable to me. It, I, I still can't fathom. I think nobody, I, I don't think anybody in the community even can imagine how, how many a hundred are until we get our hands on them. I, 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 I truly think so. I don't, I don't understand it too, but we're going to have to see. I mean... There are certain things in the world where you, you can't really imagine them un unless you like experience them. I think, and I think the triggers in 2.2 or the whole editor itself is going to be exactly like that. And so, yeah, like I said, you can basically do anything and different games basically have presets, but here you have absolute and full freedom. You can do whatever you want. And yeah, that's it for the editor part. And now let me just change this because blue is not that cool. And now I want to talk about where's the background. There we go. Okay, let's make it like that. That's pretty cool. Another thing is Gia. And this is something that I really like about games in general. I like games, for example, like Half-Life, you know? I like it because it has certain weapons in it, okay? You may or may not know Half-Life, but in Half-Life there are certain weapons. Or actually, let's take Counter-Strike as an example. Counter-Strike has a bunch of weapons. And it was usually just a normal game where you compete against five people, so five versus five, and that's it. However, there was a new game mode added called Danger Zone, and that basically enhances the, the enjoyment of the game because we still have these weapons, but it's basically like a completely new game mode. And this can basically be seen about Geometry Dash 2. We have the ship, we have all of these things, except for the UFO because UFO is garbage and it should be removed as fast as possible. We have all of these things that are basically just normal about Geometry Dash. You can go big, you can go small, ball, wave, dart, and stuff like that. And you can also change the speed, you can go dual mode, and all of that is going to be doable in platformer mode. I think this is probably one of the most important reasons as to why platformer mode is so special to me. Because you can basically have, like Mario for example, Mario is basically nothing compared to Geometry Dash. I think once, once 2.2 comes out, it's going to be basically nothing. Because in Geometry Dash, or in Mario rather, you, all you do is just jump. You jump, you get a bunch of abilities, nothing way too special. You can change game modes a little tiny bit where you have like different things to throw at enemies and stuff like that. But this is basically just like, like the cube. And now we have like seven other game modes, which is absolutely ridiculous. And you can also change the size. This is not, this can't be done in Mario. You can also change the speed and many other things. I think this is alone such a, an enhancement about how we can view the game. And the last point I want to talk about is actually tied to the Geometry Dash community. And it's that how creative it is. And for example, you can take a look at early 2.1 when you used to play like these levels that are basically like early 2.1 levels. You probably were a little bit, you know, not very impressed. It's a very simple stuff. However, if you play levels now, six years after that, you will realize that things have changed a lot and things have changed in a positive way. Like things have definitely improved. 
And I think the same thing is going to be happening in platformer mode. As you guys can see, I'm an epic gamer. And I think, like, we can take a example from Deadlocked, for example. Deadlocked was basically, like, the first level that Roptop made with 2.0. And that was basically what Roptop could come up with. And the community then pushed things absolutely nuts. And I think the same thing is going to happen with Geometry Dash 2.2. And we can just take a look at some of the examples that were made by Roptop himself. We can take a look on this, and this is basically, you have to imagine, no disrespect dropped up here, but this is one of the worst things that you can do with platform mode, or like a rated level, for example. Look at how awesome this is, and you can see, like, everything that I've talked about, about the creativity and the limitless editor features are can be seen here, like the crate moving, moving down, the animation down there, and how fast these guys can shoot, where they are, how many there are, and stuff like that. You can change everything. And you have to imagine, this is not fun at all. Let's just put it that way. If you think this is not fun, then keep in mind that this is the worst thing that you can do with the platform mode as, as like a, a featured level. So you have to take the creativity of the community also into your argument in order to enhance the meaning of platform mode because right now we have learned so much about the editor and about the game as a whole in 2.1. So I think 2.0 is going to be a completely fresh start where... We already have a lot of experience in the editor. However, yes, 2.2 is going to be, you know, twice as large as the game is right now. And yeah, this is my example. You can like basically watch what Roptop has made. There are, there are a ton of more examples I can pull on about how he used certain triggers or how he... That was basically... What, what I'm going to show you now are basically just tests. He was testing, pretty much. Just testing a trigger and he came up with... Stuff like, uh, where is it? Stuff like this. Like, this looks really, really cool already. This is probably like six objects or something. And then we have this shooting stuff. Like, this is just all testing. And we have this guy that shoots at you. And you can... This is what's crazy. You have to combine everything I said into why platformer mode is so special. You can see here, it's just so cool, bro. And this one as well. This is basically just like a keyframing thingy. And here we have another example which is just testing the sound effects and i think a platform mode is going to be so much fun because it's basically like something completely new and i think seeing how 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 far the creators are going to take that is going to is going to absolutely blow our minds i'm i'm so certain about that here you can see how he made like a spaceship type of, this is all like testing he was just testing stuff and then he came up with something like this which goes to show there's so much that can be done. So to you guys that hate platform mode, do not judge it before you play it. Because I think it's going to be so much fun. So yeah, let's now just jump to a small conclusion on what I said in this video. So you can like have a small recap. And the first thing is basically, I talked about how Geometry Dash's editor is so limitless. There are basically no limits in the Geometry Dash editor. So you can pretty much do whatever you want. And that's going to drive this awesome community to a completely different level and we're gonna have all variations of levels and things like the gameplay being in constant motion is gonna be able to be replicated in platformer mode if somebody wants to. I gave a bunch of examples in the editor and stuff like that so you can go ahead and replay if you want to. But yeah, I will probably be streaming now and let me know what you guys think. If you have anything about platformer mode I missed, I would like to Talk about that as well in the comment section. Look at this. This is also so beautiful. I have like these icons that basically help each other. This is so cute. I can't believe it. Bro, the more I watch, I, I, I'm so dumb. Why am I even watching these videos? This is, is going to make me even more excited for the update. I can't, I can't even handle it already. And now watching this makes me even more mad, bro. Like, why you do this to me? But yeah. Uh, make sure to join the stream. It's going to be probably in the pinned comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. And also, if the update doesn't come out next week... <gasps>